one track, one day, and 100 kilometers. Buhol's high school teacher Patrick Gallagher is running with good reason. The rate of premature births in America has risen for the third year in a row, according to the Center for Disease Control Prevention. I can't do anything to help all those premature babies, but I can run, and I can run and sometimes pull off some pretty crazy stunts. So that gets some attention, that can raise some money, and by proxy, I get to help some babies. Babies much like his own two children and close friends that were born prematurely. At 10 cents per lap, Patrick hopes to raise at least $2,500 for the March of Dimes organization. So within the March of Dimes, they do a lot of research because one of the things is they're not sure, like, why is so um, prematurity so common? Um, in the U.S., it's one out of every 10 babies that's born prematurely, which is very high. Funding for research is needed now more than ever. With support from those like Patrick, more miracles may soon be possible. The teacher says his plight today is nothing compared to the struggles that families with premature children face every single day. It was really probably, I mean, it was the most difficult time of my life. Debbie is the mother of twin boys, Blaze and Charlie. She knows firsthand what families endure when children are born prematurely. They ended up being born, Blaze weighed one pound, 15 ounces, and Charlie weighed three pounds, 12 ounces. But even the tiniest of babies can carry a heavy weight on a parent's heart. With more funding for research and preventative measures, fewer families may have to experience these struggles. Debbie says there's still hope for a better tomorrow. They became very athletic and they both went on to college. Yeah, so much to be thankful for. These children prove that it doesn't matter where you start as long as you finish strong. And through courageous acts of love, a big difference can be made for even the littlest of hands. Taylor Marks, WUFT News.